Good morning, good morning, Arise Africa. I am here. I know the lighting is not good, but I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be here right now. I thank God that I can do live right now because of you, my faithful subscribers. You believed in me and you subscribed even when I was not uploading videos because you trusted me and now I can be able to do live videos. I give God all the glory. I have woken up right now. <coughs> it's uh, uh it's seven in more in there in Kenya. I've just woken up by a dream and I really want to share it as quickly as possible because it's a very urgent message and let me pray. Father, I give you glory and I honor you even for bringing me here, Father, to make this video. I thank you because of waking me up, even, Father, to speak to your children, Father. God, I thank you because of every subscriber who has made it possible for me to do live videos. I thank you, God Almighty. May you bless them, my Father. Thank you, Father, because this is your message, our God. Lord, I'm just but a vessel. So help me, Lord, to just release it the best way, Lord, I can. Lord, I release myself to you and I silence the works of the evil one and speak the blood of Jesus. Jesus, I cover everyone who will listen to this message and may they hearken and awaken my God and live and to do your will in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, I thank you because uh, I... Um, uh, uh, <laughs> because of allowing me to be here and uh, I thank God because uh, he, I, he gave me a dream this morning. I'm so sorry I've not been coming. I have so many messages, but I've been sharing them on Facebook. Facebook. But uh, this message, the Lord told me I have to come live and do it. And I, I had a dream. And uh, in the dream, um, oh God, help me. Help me to release this message. Help me to release message. Help me, Lord God Almighty, for I, I surrender to you. I surrender, Lord. I surrender, King of Kings, in the name of Jesus Christ. I release my mouth to you. I release everything I got to you, my God, in Jesus' mighty name. It's not my message, but your message. I release it to you, Father. I release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. So this is the message I had. And let me tell you, I saw myself somewhere. And uh, I started to prophesy. And when I started to prophesy, this is what the Lord was saying. The Lord was speaking to Kenyans. It is a message to Kenyans. And the Lord said, Kenya, 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 you cried for a leader. You cried for a leader when things were so bad. You cried and I heard your cry. I heard what you wanted. I I had when you cried because of the bloodshed, when you cried and asked me to give you a king. Now I have given you a king. Now you have called him names. You have disrespected him. You have hated him. You have done everything that I can be done to any human being. Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. This is my message for you because you have shamed him before the world, because you have not prayed for him, because you, you have defamed my name to the nations. This is what is going to happen to you. Kenya will be crowned with shame. Kenya, you will suffer shame. You will suffer shame. Wait and see. You will suffer shame. I will not add from there because that is where the message ended. I remember last year, children of God, I came here and I said, Kenyans, let's pray for our leaders. Let's pray for Uhuru. Let's pray for vice president. The Lord told us to pray for them because we prayed to have them as our leaders. But the Lord kept telling me, Miriam, they have, they, they have hated him. I don't know what you have been doing. I don't know what has been happening. But let me tell you, it doesn't matter what the king does. He requires respect. He requires honor. When you pray to have a leader, you have to sustain that leader through prayers. That leader will be kept through prayers. It doesn't, if he is doing the wrong things, it is because there is no intercessor. It's because there is no one who is praying for him. And now for the Lord to come and tell me, tell Kenyans that they will go through shame. That the nation will go through shame. 
I don't know what the Lord means with that, but I know it's not a good thing. And in the same dream, I saw this dove come and this dove came and hit me with fire. I shook a little bit till it jumped off a little bit and I said I scared it off. But then it came, I said, oh, come, come. It came back and I held it and I was so happy. I was holding it. It had fire. It was a white dove with fire, with flaming fire. And as I walked with it, people were looking and most of them wanted to take a photo with it. They came even there, there were, because we have been having, we have been wearing sack clothes and going on the streets of Nairobi and interceding and repenting on behalf of the nation. I saw those team members coming and we took a photo. I saw my children taking a photo with me. And let me tell you, and then so many da other other birds came. Uh, they, they were looking like very beautiful with different colors. They came all around. And then that dove uh, ran off a little bit. And then I was like, oh my, it left. It did not even leave me with a feather. Something as a sign. But then it came back and, and, and it told me, from now on, I'll be walking with you. Let me tell you what I got from this dream. Kenya, because of what we have done, because of what we have done, there's something that might happen to this nation, to our leader. Let me tell you, pray, pray. I don't know. Something will happen that will shake the nation. And that shake up will birth out revival. Because that, that dove that had the flaming fire, the way I saw it, it was standing for revival. The Lord was telling me, the way he started to speak to me, is because we have refused to bear the revival when there was peace, we have, re we have refused to turn to him. We have refused to repent. We have refused to pray for our leaders. We have refused to, to do what he has commanded us to do. Now, revival will be bathed by pain. I don't even want to pass this. It was so hard to pass this message, but I have to do it because I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel. So children of God, is this how we want revival to come to Kenya? Through tears, through chaos, through bloodshed? This is not what we wanted. This is not what the Lord wanted. But because Kenya is his beloved and he loves Kenya, he told me, Miriam, do not stand on my path. I have to shake this nation. I have to shake the foundations so that what can remain, remains. I don't know where you'll be in the shake-up. I don't know where the shake-up will find you. But this is the time to hit the streets, children of God. This is the time to wear sackcloth and not speak against them that are repenting. This is the time for you not to see the sins of others and go and repent. Go and cry to God. Go. This is how revival is birthed by repentance, turning away from sin. Kenya, we have sinned. We have turned away from God. We have done every abominable things. We are saying there is no God. Kenya, we deserve the punishment of God. We deserve what he wants to give us. But I believe that his word is true when he tells us in in second chronicles 7 14 that if my people who are called by my name i think it is good for me to read it that i believe that the lord will heal our land second chronicles 7 14 this is what the bible says if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. That is the God that we serve, a forgiving God. If we turn, this is what the Bible says, we are called Kenya, we are called by his name. The Lord is calling us to humility, to humble ourselves and pray. Pray, don't say the churches are closed, hit the streets. No one asked the Muslims yesterday when we were on the streets. Three people came and they started to question us. And the Lord told me, don't give them information. Ask them who they are. They were asking us, who are you? And one of them said, I'm a Catholic. The other said, I'm a Muslim. The other said, I'm a Catholic. And the Lord told me, see, who asked the Muslims when they lay their mats on the road and pray? 
Nobody asked them. Nobody questions them. But they want to ask. They started to ask, which tribe do you come from? And we told them, we don't say our tribe because we are Kenyans. We told them we don't come from any denomination because we don't matter about the churches and we all come from different denominations. We are not from any denomination, but we come, we have been sent by the Lord God of Israel. Elohim is his name. And that is where we are here on the streets. They could not say anything else. Let me tell you when they tried to question us, other men who were drivers on that on that uh, bus stop, they came and started to listen to us and they started to ask good questions and they all started to answer one another. Even sometimes we could not even answer them. And let me tell you, five of them got saved, including a street life girl where we were praying. They gave their life to Jesus. And let me tell you, the Lord said, I am with you. That is all that we need. And I believe because we have been doing it and we will continue to do it until the Lord bath there is revived. And I know Church of Kenya. I know Kenya if you join. Don't worry about in your denomination. This is not about the church. Let me tell you. This is not about the church. But it is about the call of God. Because let me tell you what the Lord wants to do is what he has wanted to do using this nation. He said Kenya is a springboard of revival. And the Lord said we cannot deny revival. We cannot deny him what he wants. We might delay it, but it will surely come. And it can come even in pain. But let me tell you, child, of, it's not so late. I pray that all of us Kenyans can turn on the streets. We can kneel down without feeling ashamed, without feeling that it is so dirty on the roads, and kneel down and call on the name of the Lord. And the Lord will hear us, and he will heal our land and deliver us from what is coming. He will put a mark because I believe he put a mark of fire on me and all the team members that I pray with and my children. And I know he's going to do it even for you. When you turn and turn, because the Lord has been telling me, come out of him, ah, my people, come out of her, out of her sins so that you don't suffer her, her pain. You don't suffer his anger. It's time for us to come out of those sins. It's time for us to separate, be separate. He wants us to be different. He wants us to stand for him even when it seems like it is so not good. Sometimes we get attacked. But for me, I told God, I will never stop serving you. Even when I get attacked, I will still go and serve you. Because I refuse to be intimidated. I refuse for anyone or anything to keep me from doing what the Lord has called me to do. Since when the Lord told me that I, from the book of Ezekiel, that I give, I give you a message and you don't pass it. If I tell you to do something and you don't do it, if, I, if that nation suffers, then their blood will be on your, on your hands. From that time, I feel no human being. I only hear the Lord God who called me, for he is alive. Let me see what the Bible says. Because of how and what is making God become angry with us Kenyans because of abusing our leader. And that is where we have opened a legal ground that will make the Lord shake this nation if we don't turn away and repent of this sin of calling our leader names, of hating him, of shaming him. This is what the Bible says uh, in First in first Timothy. Um, let me see where it is. I don't want to read all of it. Oh, we have to honor our leaders whether we like it or not. We have to stand firm in the promises of the Lord for his, for his commands and are true. His commands are true. Rabba shekia zanabako naria konabi. Lord, remember mercy. Lord, may you have your way. Lord, may your will be done. May your glory come down. May your anointing come down in Jesus' mighty name. Rekaba shakaya zanabikonta. Rekaba kona ribabaya zarinianta. Yes, it is first team of the chapter two. Chapter two, verse one, and it says, Exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. It is our duty to pray for all men. For kings, have we been praying for your king? For all that are in authority. 
Even that king, even that leader that you hate so much, you are supposed to pray for him. This is the Bible. Whether you don't believe he is there by God's will, you have to pray for him. This is the Bible talking. I, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. So if we don't pray for our leaders and those in the authority, then we will not live quiet and peaceable life. And that is why the Lord wants to shake the nations and remove the peace for a little time and remove, oh God, the, the, the remove uh, this peace and the quietness that we are enjoying right now so that we may seek his face. Is this what we want, children of God? For this is good and acceptable in the sight of the Lord, our Savior. It is acceptable for you to pray for our leaders, whether you like it or not. Let me search for another verse that speaks about the same. Father, help us. Father, help us. Help us to be faithful in the name of Jesus. Help us, dear God. I see people who say, I cannot pray for him. I cannot pray for him. And calling him names, but let me tell you, children of God, it is a command from heaven. It is a command from heaven that we pray for them, that we pray for him, for them, whether we like it or not. I don't know where that verse is. I know it is in Romans. Father, Rabbi Shiki and Yes, Romans chapter 13. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. For there is no power but of God. The power that are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall, shall receive to themselves damnation or judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shall have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do what that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. God, hey, and even the leader, hey, shaky and help us, dear God. He beareth them. He beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, ye must, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For, for, for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's minister, attending continually upon this very thing. Even when you see that he is not every power and every authority, only God ordains it. Whether you love that leader, let me tell you, if God has not ordained him, he cannot get into power. Sometimes for good and sometimes for evil. Like the time of Saul. Saul, when the children of Israel cried for a leader, he allowed it. It was for not for good, but he allowed it. And they had the money to pray for him. So even right now, the leader that we have, whether he's doing good or not good, you ought to pray for him. You don't have any, any choice. For this is the court. Course, pay ye tribute also, for they are gods. Nor render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. They deserve our honor. On, let, let me not read there, the other one. Let me go to Jeremiah. There's also another. Mm, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. Rabba Shikianta. Oh, I don't know if I'll find this one, but let me tell you, children of God, we have to go back on our knees. We have to cry for Kenya. We have to cry for Kenya. We have to cry for Kenya. Yes, I wanted to read uh, Jeremiah 20, chapter 29, uh, verse 7. And seek the peace of the city which I have caused you to be carried away as captives and pray unto the Lord for it, for it, for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. Children of God, you might be feeling like you are a foreigner in this nation. You might be feeling like this is not where you're supposed to, to be. You might be feeling, but the Lord is saying, pray for the city. So if you are a Kenyan, pray for the peace of Kenya. Pray for the leaders of Kenya. Pray that, that what does the Bible say? And pray that the Lord for it 
and for the for in the peace there sh shall ye have peace so if there is peace in kenya you will also have peace so if you don't pray and there is chaos you will not also not have the peace so you better pray for this city you better pray for kenya you are feeling like this is a captivity country you are feeling like lord this is not what i wanted lord this is not what but the lord is saying pray for this city children of god this is not the best message i would have wanted to come and bring but let me tell you i don't have a choice and i'm calling on the intercessors stand and pray stand and pray i have really cried this morning i have cried to god i have really cried and i want you this is where jeremiah said if only my head were a fountain that i would cry this is the time that you tell the lord help me to cry I've just woken up. I'm not done with it. I've just come here. Tell the Lord, Lord, make me an intercessor. Help me to cry. Because let me tell you, the Lord will put a mark on you. The Bible says that when that angel of death is going, he was told to put a mark on them that were wailing, on them that were crying for the abomination that were going on in that city. Put a mark on them that are waiting. So that when the anger of the Lord will come, it will bypass that home. It will bypass that family. So when you cry because of the sins that we have done, even if you're not the one who have called the president names, if you're, if you're not the one who have not been praying for the vice president, when this one comes and the anger of the Lord comes, because it doesn't have to come, because the Lord told me, tell my children, I want them to come before me like Nineveh. Nineveh style. Can we reach the Nineveh style as Kenyans? Where right now we are saying, don't go anywhere. Where the church is so afraid. The church is saying, no, we can't pray. Nobody cares about anything else but themselves. Do you see or do you feel like we can repent in Nineveh way? Do you see in it anyway? So let me tell you, it might be hard for us to go in every way. It might be hard even for the, our, the leader of the nation to call upon a national repentance because it is him that the Lord is pointing his finger on. It might be hard for him to call for a national repentance, but the Lord is calling you a Kenyan and the Lord is calling you and telling you, go on your knees. Father, remember mercy. Father, remember mercy. Mm -hmm. The Lord is said that when you find one man, one man, one man to stand in the gap, you will heal the land. Father, remember mercy over Kenya. Remember mercy over Kenya, Lord. Remember mercy, Lord. Do not judge us as we deserve. Do not judge us as we deserve. But in truth, remember mercy. Remember mercy. I have passed your message, Lord. God, may you raise an intercessor. May this message reach to one person. Oh, for you want to pour out revival. But there is no one Lord, to hold revival. There was no one to hold that dove of revival, Father, do not judge us, do not judge Kenya, do not cause pain, oh God, do not let us burn, I stand as a Jeremiah, and I cry for Kenya, I cry for Kenya, I cry for my nation, Father, heal us, Father, deliver us, Father, heal us, and we will be Father, show us your mercies. Deliver us from the evil and snares, Lord. Father, may you lift up a standard in our lives that we may be able to pray more because the battle ahead is not easy. To say, dear Baba, to say, dear, in wakiwango cha umbezi, Mimi na roa uombezi, mimi na roa uombezi kwa huyo mama na shindwa kuomba. Mimi na roa uombezi kwa huyo mzee, mimi na roa uombezi baba ninalia, ninaomba. Baba mimi na roa wako katika jina la Yesu Kristo na fungua waumbezi wale wamepigwa vita wakasikia hawawezi kuomba tena I release them wale vita vimekuwa vikali baba wakaona hakuna haja ya kuomba tena baba ninawafungua wacha wasimame tena nafungua vipawa vilivyoibiwa nafungua baba wale walinenwa maneno wakaona hakuna haja ya kukutafuta 
wakaona baba kama ni bure wakaibika baba yangu wacha wasimame tena wacha wainuke tena hawatagandamizwa na hawatazuiliwa watapigana hivita watoto wa Mungu nawaambia tena niliona Yesu kwa ndoto the other day i saw jesus in the dream he appeared to me and told me tell my children i am coming all these things after this revival let me tell you the lord will come for his church the lord will come for his church he will refine his people with fire and they will be prepared for his coming are you ready to go with him give your life to jesus and if you don't know him just repeat this prayer after me and say lord jesus i have heard your word i am a sinner forgive me purify me i believe you died on the cross for me and that you are coming back <clears throat> write my name in the lamb's book of life and jesus i surrender to you i denounce sin i'll serve you until you come back help me to live a pure life in jesus name if you have prayed that prayer believe in your heart that you have gotten saved and may the lord help you to read your bible and seek him and go and do what the lord is calling you to do preach pray and seek him like never before the lord told me tell my children they will not seek me in vain i have not told the house of jacob to seek me in vain when you surely seek his face you will find him let's go out there and seek the lord let's go out there and pass this message to everyone to any kenyan that you know that can hearken to this cry of re of prayer and repentance because i believe if we repent this thing that is planned this judgment will be averted we might not repent as Nineveh but the Lord is looking for a man the Lord is looking for a man to stand in the gap a Moses an Abraham a man like Jeremiah the wailing prophet who will wail and not look and say I want to see Kenya crying so that I may be known as a prophet those are not the prophets that the Lord is looking for who rejoice in the misery of the nation but he is looking for prophets who will prophesy and then wail before his presence and cry and that they what the Lord was planning will go away and they will rejoice with their people because they love their people so much i would not want our nation to see our nation in chaos i would not want to see our people crying i would not want to see our leaders being judged by god and us crying and fighting for leadership i would not want it to see it happen i would want us to see living us living in peace for that is the will of god for us us all the 30 something tribes in the nation of kenya living peaceably let us go and pour our tears on the streets and i believe this judgment that has been planned over kenya will be averted if we repent and we will come here and say at the end of the year and it did not happen and it did not happen because we prayed but if we don't pray it will surely happen it will surely happen because this is the second time that the lord has revealed it to me last year and this year children of god when it is repeated twice i know the lord is serious and it will happen children of god let us arise i'll come back and make more videos now because i know that you really need to hear these messages god bless you god do you good and remember the revival is coming from Africa. And Africa, whether you like it or not, whether you are from Tanzania or from anywhere else, the church, the revival is coming from Africa and going to other nations. And that is why the Lord will humble Africa. Arise, Africa. The Lord bless you as you share this video and as you subscribe. I love you. God bless you. Amen and amen.